Okay. All right. Hey, hey, everybody. What's going on? Welcome to Let's Play Primal Rage. I'm kind of, I'm kind of nervous to play this because I've seen things, and I think, it's, uh, oh, this is, this is just a, it's a 2D fighting game, as you can see. First of all, okay, maintain yourself. Let's go with Blizzard here. I guess me versus Sauron. Um, it's a 2D fighting game, as you can see, and uh, I, I've seen a lot of things about this game. I've heard a lot of things, but I've never actually played it until now. I hack, I had, wow, I actually have the game. I have the cart for it, uh, Super Nintendo. I'm playing it right now, as you can see, and um, it's very, from what I've seen, it's a very, very bloody. Very, uh... See, I just... Oh, oh boy. I, like, popped his heart or something? I don't know. I've never played this game before. Rage. And it's just Primal Rage. But the funny thing is, is that I heard about it when I was a kid. Like, kid, kid. Like, 98, 97, something like that. It's, it's, it's more or less like Mortal Kombat, just with, um... With animals... I mean, that's basically what I get from it. Um, from what I understand, from what I read from on like Wikipedia or something, apparently this takes place on like a post-apocalyptic Earth, and uh, all the characters, all the playable fighting characters, are like gods that people worship, and you can actually get to the point where you where you like eat little people for for sustenance like they they sacrifice themselves to you like the little people in the background if you've noticed they've been walking up to you and uh, I, I'm pretty sure there's a way you can actually eat them and I'm getting my ass handed to me right now this this whole jumping strategy is not working all my all my Super Nintendo uh, 2d fighting ventures if you oh man he has long as fuck arms if you've if you've seen uh, stuff like Power Rangers and stuff like Shaq Fu that I've done the Super Nintendo 2D fighting games you can oh man he finally hit me with that last blow you can finally uh, you can you can see that my strategy for these is just to jump and kick basically is my uh, is my my strategy here Sauron conquers okay some tells me Look at, Sau Look at Sauron, he's like, I'm happier than a motherfucker. <laughs> you know what, just let it run down, I don't even care. Let it go. I am going to, Gr great score, enter three letters. That is, a oh man. Listen to that sound. See, I expected this game to be extremely ick, yuck, and wee. I did buy this game used, so, you know. All right. Well, then let's uh, for, let's look at the credits, round time, rounds, difficulty, difficulty ten. Let's take it down to about oh the the max is sixteen. It's a weird max. Well, let's do half of it then. Let's do eight. All right. Game gore, yes. Reset high score tables. Uh, modify control. All right. We're good. Wait, no, don't do that. All right. Start. There's one player training, one player game, and two player game and two player handicap. Two-player handicap. All right, let's do training then. Uh, so there's red gorilla over here. There's blue gorilla. There's this guy, that guy, this guy, that guy, and then that thing. Thanks for giving me the names, guys. I appreciate it. All right, let's be Stegosaurus and we'll fight. All right, we'll be Armadon and we'll fight Vertigo. Apparently. Rage. Not fight. Not any of that crap. Just rage. Look at his long ass neck. Long ass long neck. What is this? Land Before Time? Jeez. My. my I'm, I'm going to assume that that. Like, brain thing is like a special meter. And I died that quickly. I don't understand. Was he eating people? I didn't notice if he was eating people or not. Oh, man, what is this? This is like the most complex fighting game, except for like Dragon Ball Z Budokai. That that game, that is a game, people. Like you have to pause in the middle of a fight, break the action just to figure out what your combos are. 
Now, why are his hits doing a lot more than mine? Or maybe he's just landing more of them. I don't know. But I don't... How did I, how did I win that first fight, by the way? That was impressive. Since I haven't been able to do it since. Oh, I got that one. Hey, I got one. Woo! Rage. Actually, oh, hey, I paused it. Actually, one very interesting note uh, that I should throw in here. If anybody ever watched Dexter's Laboratory, there's an episode of Dexter's Laboratory where um, where Dexter buys this uh, video game, Master Computer, and he plays it. Okay, that's cool. He plays it in his, uh, his lab, and the game, like, sucks him in, and he gets stuck in it. And he sends that little droid out to Dee Dee so she can come into his lab and then play and get him out. And she actually does so. She goes... I don't like Armadon. Screw him. And she goes into the lab, and she, uh, she plays the game and gets him out. But before she actually gets him out, she... Um, uh, to the red guy. Before she gets him out, she puts in another game. And that game is what she calls Primal Fighter. And what that consists of... I hate how you can't... I wish you could pick the damn... Wow, it farted at me. All right. Um, the game is called Primal Fighter. And if you, if you watch it, it basically comes up with a screen very similar to these. And it's the blue orangutan I'm, monkey I'm, blizzard right that's his name blizzard shows up and he just starts punching dexter in the face or on the head and that is a play off of this game primal rage primal fighter same thing this game is dumb like i literally can't get in a hit edgewise i don't understand it speaking of that oh my god i just i just uh a little bit ago about an hour ago I got off of a five hour long Skype call with all the people in Skinley's uh, stream. He had a 1,000 subscriber special going on and we played Minecraft for like three or four hours and then him and Proton John started. Proton John was in a Skype call with me. And what's awesome is he'll never see this so I can, I can, I can, I can just be as ecstatic about it as I want to. I actually talked to Proch on John, and it was nice. And he's he's actually, for anyone wondering, he's actually the same way he is in his videos. He's very chill, and I like John a lot. And then there was also people in there like Slim Kirby and Donabells and and you know, other Let's Players who I had never really heard of or had never actually really uh, spoken to. But mostly everybody was, you know, pretty cool. The one thing about it, though, is that I basically felt like I wasn't there because I could not get a word in edgewise. Like, I, 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 didn't, I don't get it, but, you know. I, I'm just, I'm not a very talkative person when other people are around. Like, if you want to talk when you're around me, then I'm going to let you talk. I'm not going to try to dominate the conversation. I'm not going to try to talk over you. And everybody there was just talk, 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 talk. Because we had several girls in the room, and you know they just, boy, I tell you, they know how to, they know how to, you know, keep the conversation going. So they they didn't really need me. I was just there. I felt like the the lowest possible uh, point on the totem pole because I'm pretty sure I had the least, uh, the lowest sub count of anyone in the room. You know, so it was, but it was still neat. It was still fun to interact with people, especially considering I didn't have anything else to do. But, you know, I was proud of Skinley for getting where he is, and everybody was, you know, making friends. I'm trying to make friends. I figure that this whole Let's Playing thing is more of a social game than anything else. And I don't really, I'll put my foot on him. Screw you, dude. Did I start to eat him at the very end there? I figure this whole thing is just a, a, a big social game. You know, that's why I've been doing this for two and a half years and haven't shown that much progress in my opinion. So I I figure once I start expanding my social circles, then, uh, then I'll start doing a little bit better when it comes to numbers. But honestly, it's, it's one of those things where I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't ever like bullshit a friendship. You know what I mean? Like, for example, like, Angry Poncho and I, we get along really well because we're very similar people. I actually won a game. 
we get along very well because we're very similar people. Most of those people I wouldn't be able to, you know, strike up a conversation with because they, you know, we just don't click. Not to say that they're not, uh, you know, nice people that I don't like them or anything. It's just that we don't click. You know, that's just the, it's just like, just like if you see a pretty girl and you're like, hey, I want to date her, but you get to talking to her and realize that, you know, she's not your type. She's a fucking idiot. So, you know, it's nothing against her. She's still pretty. It's just, you know, you don't click. For people to get along, they have to click. It's, it's, you know, whatever. I'm getting my shit pushed in right now. I obviously have no idea how to play this game. And I like how I went into the training mode. And I was like, okay, let me just train a little bit. Maybe they'll show me some of the combos. There's the pause menu. Lord knows if you want help, you go to the pause menu. But no, it's not there. Select doesn't do anything. You know what? I'm just going to button mash. Fuck this. Fuck, fuck, fuck you, dude. Just bloodshed and gore. Mortal Kombat's cousin. I need a, I need a Let's Play Mortal Kombat game. This is a one-off. I'm going to put that out there right now. I'm not doing any more of this. I seem to be having more luck while just button mashing. I hear that heartbeat, too. Man. There we go. Yeah, I got my shit pushed in. There are fatalities in this game, too, I believe. Um, I think so. Also, if I can find that episode of Dexter's Laboratory, I'll go ahead and put it up. I'll put it in the, um... Put it in the description of the video. Alright, one more go-around. I like how this character and this character are carbon copies of each other, and then this character and this character are just reskins. So, technically, there's only five. Alright, we'll go with... We'll go with Cerberus here, or whatever the fuck. Vertigo. Captain Longneck. Land Before Time. The Longnecks. And the whatever the fuck. Man, I need to watch Land Before Time. It has been a long while since I've seen a Land Before Time bit movie. And I remember that the only good ones were like one through five. And then the and then they just started to progressively suck and just go downhill. I almost said suck downhill. <laughs> How do you suck downhill? Must be hard. So I take it the little green circles that come up are like blocked hits. One would guess. See, I'm hitting the people. They're flying up way in the air, and then and, and they're just not dying. I don't get it. The little people in this game running around remind me of the little people from Rampage. If anybody wants to give me a Rampage game, I'll play that. <laughs> I loved Rampage as a kid. I always made it a point when I was playing Rampage to never hit the old women. Because I felt like the old women, you know, they weren't doing anything to anybody. They were just... They were just... <laughs> this, this is literally... I can't believe I'm going to share this, but this was literally the the mental... Um, the mental picture I had of old women in Rampage as they, um, as they were walking the streets and I had the opportunity to kill them. I felt like all the little old women were just on their way home from the grocery store, you know, with their glasses and their cane. They were like, oh boy, I'm going to see my kitty. Here we go. We're going to... I'm going to go home. It's like... I'm gonna go see my kitty at home. You know, like my little, my little tiny kitty. I know that sounds really weird, but it's exactly how I picture them. Just little old ladies. They just went to the store and bought, you know, one bag of groceries because that's all they can afford. Okay, he just teleported. I saw that game. You can't put that past me. I look, I look like a retarded camel. Quit spitting your like poisonous pink spray at me. Hold still so I can kill you. <laughs> There's little people just flying through the air. <laughs> Apparently Spider-Man came to see the fight. And they're stomping the ground. They're like tribesmen, right? That's what they're supposed to be? Oh, boy. So as I can tell, aerial fighting doesn't really have much to do with anything in this game. I, I did this blind for a reason, but I feel like I shouldn't have. Because I was told by somebody that the control scheme in this is really difficult. You know what? I'm just going to go over here. I mean, you, you can have a good time, but... Oh, fuck you. I tried ducking. I don't... This is... Oh, this is weird, dude. I feel like the range on most attacks is just way too long. Like the tails and the necks and all that shit. Alright, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I am done. Alright, so until the next one-off... This this game, I don't like this game. Till the next one off, I'm Broken Champion. We're done here.